Hi, I'm Carla, owner, co-owner of On the Bluff Labradors, and I'm here today to talk to you about DNA. DNA is a wonderful tool for breeders, and we're so happy it's it's it has uh, been discovered and come in for breeders. Uh, back in the 90s, they did have one DNA test, which was the what they called the optogen test, and that was for progressive retinal atrophy, which is also called PRA. That's the acronym. And basically, uh, PRA is when the retina, it's, it's what it sounds like, the retina um, progressively atrophies and eventually it can cause blindness. And then they discovered that it's carried on the genes and they began to test dogs for it. And so if you had two carriers, you would probably produce about 50% of your puppies would be at risk. It didn't mean that they would get it, but they would be at risk for it because they were carrying two alleles, what it was called, one from the father, one from the mother. So what's great about this is that we have, now they have it for a lot of things. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, things that they test for. And the ones that we are most concerned about is PRA, progressive retinal atrophy, and also energy-induced collapse, which is also called EIC. And that's, uh, you can, a dog can live with EIC their, their whole life, uh, as long as they don't do any kind of really heavy exercise. So if you're hunting, you certainly don't want a dog with EIC because most likely they will collapse and then you won't be able to hunt with your dog anymore. So now we have that one as well, as well as there's certain heart ones that we do. At any rate, um, it doesn't matter to you getting a puppy whether one of the dogs carries. It doesn't mean they have it. Atticus, for instance, and Twain, they both carry PRA, but they don't have PRA, nor will they ever get it. So we make sure when we breed Atticus that we always breed them to a girl um, that isn't carrying it. And that's the way we can prevent PRA. And eventually, hopefully, when all breeders do this, we will get it completely, we'll get it out of the breed. Um, there are certain breeds that are, that are susceptible to it, and, and uh, Labrador Retrievers are one of them. So it is an incredible tool. Um, I can't say enough about it. We're very, very happy to have DNA. So when you see it, don't panic. So if you see that, you know, you have a, if you have a, uh, a male or a female from Atticus, and then you suddenly see that Atticus has pra, don't worry, your puppy will not have it because the mother didn't carry it. And the same with Twain. So uh, you don't have to worry about it. But it's been a terrific thing for breeders. And now they're discovering more and more things on the DNA. And hopefully, hopefully, they will discover hip dysplasia. If it is genetic, in fact, and some geneticists don't feel like it is, but if it is genetic, they will discover it on DNA and then we no longer will have to do the OFA, which I will talk about in another uh, video.